Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to pair your Xbox Series X controller to your iPad Pro. So the first step is you want to head over to settings, then you want to tap on Bluetooth and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. The next step is you want to turn on your Xbox Series X controller and once it's turned on, you just want to hold the share icon at the top here. Hold this down until the LED starts blinking. Once the LED starts blinking, you can release that button. And on your iPad, you should wait until you see here inside of other devices, Xbox wireless controller. Once you see this, you want to tap on it and the pairing process will start. You're going to see Bluetooth pairing request. Just tap on the pair here. And any moment now you can see Xbox wireless controller connected and you can see the blinking has stopped. This is mean we have successfully paired our Xbox Series X controller to our iPad. A couple of extra things to note though, if you go to general and about, you need to be running software version 14.5 or newer in order to use your Xbox Series X controller. You can pair on those older software versions, however the functionality of the Xbox Series X controller will not work unless you run software version 14.5 or later. Finally, not all games will support the Xbox Series X controller. So for example, Minecraft fully supported with the Xbox Series X controller. However, some games such as PUBG uh, may not work. In fact, they don't work. In the future, they may work, however. And also, you need to make sure in the application, you see this. Minecraft would like to find and connect your devices on your local network. You want to make sure you tap on OK to this message. If you don't, the controller will not work. So you can see controller is fully working. If you accidentally tapped on don't allow to that message, you just want to head over to settings, scroll down, find that Apple game where the controller support isn't working. So we'll just find Minecraft here. Tap on this and you see local network, just turn that back on and then the controller support should be back and fully working. So you can see I'm moving around, press A, everything's fully working as expected. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.